The mission John O'Shea Darts Review begins right now. What's up guys, Worldbot here. We've got a great, great video for you today. I'm really excited about this one. I will be reviewing the mission, John O'Shea, the Joker darts. But I got a funny story before we get into the video. So I ordered these at Darts Corner and I got them right pretty much when they first came out. So I received these darts sometime in early December. I had planned to do the video already. Matter of fact, I was gonna do the video or upload the video right on December 20th when John O'Shea played in the PDC World Championship. I figured it'd be good timing, give him some extra exposure, upload the video in the morning, then he played a few hours later. However, going back, I don't know, maybe about 10 or 12 days before that, I decided to search online. I was looking for a picture of John to use in the thumbnail for the video. So while I was searching online, I found that picture. I'm like, well, wait a second, are you kidding me? I had no idea that contest was even going on, and check this out. I was one of the 12 to get the Joker card. So yeah, I was super excited about that free jersey. So yeah, this thing's pretty nice, right? Yeah, so um, yeah, I figure I had to wait until I get the jersey until I did the review. So I contacted Darts Corner. They sent the jersey out right away. And that brings us to today, December 26th. We've got an awesome video planned. I will have the link down below in the pinned comment. Take you over to Darts Corner. You can check these things out. Steel tip, they come in 22, 24, 26 grams. They also come in soft tip as well. So yeah, again, link down in the pinned comment, take you over to Darts Corner and you can check these things out. And yeah, free jersey. How awesome is that? I haven't won anything darts related in probably six or seven years. So yeah, I was pretty excited. Nice jersey, right? So um, yeah, let's get into it. Won't keep you waiting. We're gonna do the same old thing we always do. Take a close up look. I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions. Then I'll get these things on the board. Give him a little throw and I'll let you know what I think of the brand new mission. John O'Shea, the Joker darts. Here we go. Okay, let me show you everything that's included here. We've got our very vibrant and colorful John O'Shea, the Joker mission packaging. That certainly catches the eye, doesn't it? On the back there. I suppose if you want to pause the video and read all of that, you certainly can. But yeah, there's the mission cardboard hand case. Inside, we have the plastic tray that held the darts. And there are the standard size John O'Shea, the Joker flights. And if you see there, I was smart enough to purchase an extra set. That way, if I bash on the darts during the review, I really don't care because I have a brand new set to fall back on. We also had a mission checkout card. Pretty decent card. However, I did notice like three, I guess, yeah, like three mistakes or three that I wouldn't recommend. First one, 108, trouble 20, they recommend. I don't know. If you miss to the left, you're left on a bogey. I would recommend 18s from 108. That way, if you miss up or down, left or right, you still have a checkout and you're not left on a bogey. The other one, where are we at? Oh, 88. They recommend trouble 16, which is fine if the opponents wake way, way back. However, if they're on a checkout, don't go 16s because if you had a single 16, you're left with 72 with two darts in hand. So yeah, you're screwed. The Oh, by the way, go, um, go 20s from 88. The other one, 79, same thing. Trouble 13. If you hit a single 13, you're left with 66 with two darts in hand. Is there a better option? Yeah, 79. Go 19. Single 19 leaves 20 for tops. So yeah, don't go trouble 13. Feel free to go that way if the opponent's like way back. But again, if they're on a finish, there are better ways. There is my Joker card. Only 12 of those went out. I haven't won anything in so long, probably about six years, anything dart related. So nice to win a jersey from this Joker card. And there's a code. I can't show you the back. There's a code on the back where they verify that this is an actual authentic Joker card. So there's my free jersey card. And now for the darts. How beautiful are those? Certainly eye-catching. And depending on which way the light hits the barrel, you can see the colors change. We go from blue to green. Oh, let's spin these things. we got some purple in there. 
Very nice, right? Oh, another thing I want to draw to your attention. Mission does this with all their new sets of darts. All the logos line up from the barrel to the stem. Not that it's a huge deal, but it's just that little extra attention to detail that I love from Mission. Not a lot of companies do that, so it's nice to see Mission do that. So look how nice those barrels are though, right? I will be having fun with these. I got a little surprise for you in a bit, and I think some of you can probably already guess, but that's everything that's included. Now I gotta give you some stats and dimensions. Alrighty, there you go. Nice look at the darts there. And I know I've said this in previous videos where I prefer a natural tungsten barrel, which I do. However, every so often, there's a set of darts that comes along that looks a bit different from the norm. And these are them. It's still at the same time, though. I think that's a great looking set of darts. You got your coral PVD coating. You got your purple saber stems. You got your super colorful John O'Shea flights. All in all, I think it goes together really well. And in my opinion, come on, that's a great looking set of darts, right? But starting up front, you got your 32 millimeter black coated points. Now the barrels themselves, check this out, 95% tungsten on these bad boys. The barrel length coming in at 50.8 millimeters long. And the barrel width right up here at the widest point, I guess this is a torpedo shaped barrel, definitely front loaded, the widest point seven millimeters wide up front. Now I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth, and you know what? These are even more front loaded than you may think because they're drilled out 16.1 millimeters deep. So yeah, we're definitely dealing with a front loaded dart here. Now the match weighting on these things, pretty decent. These are advertised as 22 grams, the lightest barrel, 21.89. The second barrel, 21.93. And finally the third barrel, 21.95. So yeah, excellent match weighting. But what do you say? We get a little bit closer look and I'll tell you about the grip on these coral PVD coated barrels. Okay, let's get a little closer look here and I'll tell you about the grip. However, before I tell you, have a guess. I mean, what would you guess? You're looking at this video right now, right? So looking at these barrels on a scale of one to five, what would you guess their grip level to be? I'll tell you here in just a second, but nothing too fancy, right? Just a basic multi-ring design. You got your little smooth section on the back end with your mission logo. And uh, yeah, that's about it. But the reason I mentioned the coral PVD coating in the last clip, I mentioned it a couple times, just want to make it clear that this is a coating, not a paint. So it's pretty much there to stay. And with the coating being down in between the grips, I mean, it should last a long, long time. It's not going to wear out. So this coating should still look pretty good in about a year from now. Just as long, I mean, you got to clean out the grooves every so often. Dead skin cells build up in there. But the grip, believe it or not, look, if I gave these things a light squeeze, I mean, you can see the lines in my finger. These things are actually really grippy. I'll go ahead and give them a grip level 3.3 on a scale of 1 to 5. Is that what you would have guessed? But yeah, definitely a grippy dart for sure. And of course, I got to talk about this tapered nose cone. That is awesome. I love a tapered nose cone like that. However, we do have definitely a bit of a lip where the point meets the barrel. But guess what, guys? I got a surprise for you. There's no way I could make it through an entire video with a nose cone like this and not repoint them. Of course, I'm going to repoint these things. Check out these bad boys. We got your Mission Sniper Ripple Points. They got the flange there, so it's going to eliminate the lip on the front end. And come on, that's going to look good, isn't it? So let me get these things repointed, and uh, I'll show you how it looks afterwards, and then straight to the board we go. So, um, yeah, I'll be right back. Wow, unreal. I have totally transformed the look of these darts. That is amazing. Come on, isn't it? That looks incredible. Look at that perfect transition now from point to barrel. Anytime you get a tapered nose cone like this, I mean, it's mandatory that you repoint them, right? The only thing that just occurred to me, too, you know what? I haven't taken a picture for the thumbnail. I haven't even thrown these things yet. I haven't even thrown the intro at the bullseye. So I think I'm going to have to unrepoint these things. Oh, that sucks, doesn't it? You know what? Making YouTube videos is a lot harder than you might think sometimes. But yeah, there we go. That looks absolutely amazing. So, um, yeah, I guess I got to unrepoint them. Go take a picture for the thumbnail and then begin the throwing parts of the video. So there they are. When we do get these back on the board, that's how I'll be throwing them. So huh, there you go. Repointed with Mission Sniper Ripple Points. Okay, here we go. We'll just have a few throws tonight. Nothing serious. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do anything fancy here tonight. No checkouts. I'm still nursing this back injury, so... I don't have a lot of power throwing, throwing uh, these darts to the board or any darts for that matter. One good thing about the Sabre stems 
is I don't have to worry about a flight popping out, bending over, trying to pick it up because I mean, these things, the, the flights go in kind of hard, but once you get them in there, they're not moving. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, I actually like these Sabre stems. They're pretty nice. Ton of different colors as well. Hey, good start. You know, it's funny too, because it just feels like, like I said, there's no power. So I'm floating these darts in and man, they get to the board effortless. Maybe it's just because they're front loaded. Yeah, I just feel, I can't twist either. So it feels kind of, did that go in too? What's going on here? <laughs> that last one was a little bit high. Wow, okay. Ugh. Yeah, it's just one of those sets of darts that's pretty much effortless to throw. And you know, I, I'm second guessing the grip level. I know I said, what, 3.3? It's very similar to the Mission Josh Rock darts where when I took them out of the package, they felt incredibly grippy, but once you play with these things for a few minutes, I don't know, you just, hey, third dart saver. You get used to them. I mean, they don't, after, uh, I've been warming up now for a couple minutes, right? And they just don't feel as grippy as what I once thought they were. So, yeah, I don't know. You know what, grip level's gonna depend on how rough or soft your hands are, how tightly you squeeze the barrel. So if you kind of grip the barrel tightly, these will definitely feel grippy, but a nice light touch. They come off the fingertips pretty clean, so. You know, grip level, it's kind of hard to determine on multiple sets of darts. I try to do my best, but it's, it's around a three. If someone said these are like a level two and a half grip, I really wouldn't argue with them too much. Oh, no power on that one. Bullseye. Oh, <laughs> can we count that as a third dart saver? And yeah, the grip, the, um, the grip will probably work well for a lot of people. I'm gripping kind of right up front and just taking advantage of the, the barrel being front loaded like it is. And yeah, again, it's, it's pretty effortless to throw. Even with my back hurting, I'm sailing a few darts high. So just a total effortless barrel to throw. These things are really nice. Really nice when they stay out of the five. Ah, come on. Hey, one more. <laughs> Third dart saver. Yeah, we'll do one more. Just uh, three at the bullseye. Love the looks of these things. The coating doesn't really affect the grip because it's sandblasted down in between the multi-rings. So, you know, it just basically feels like a multi-ring barrel where the multi-rings are packed in tightly together. But man, the, um, that coating does look good though. 25. 25 and uh, 25. Well, that's enough of that, I guess. I took a bunch of Tylenol before I started to try to throw darts and it's not helping too much, but hey, there you go. The Mission John O'Shea, the Joker darts. Had a lot of fun with these. I can't wait till I feel better. I'll be throwing these a little bit more often. Just a great overall, great set of darts. So um, let's roll into the next clip. You know what's coming. We got a nice tight 180 for you. Then I'll give these things a rating and we are out of here. Here we go. <laughs> Boom! Get in there. That was tight. And again, that's a perfect visual example of what you can do with 32 millimeter long points. The longer the point, sometimes you can get really tight groupings like that. But uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be just about it for the video. If you enjoyed it so far, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And again, reminder, link to Darts Corner down below in the pinned comment. But now's the time of the video. I can give these things a rating on how well I think they're going to work for most recreational dart players or your average recreational dart player. 
You know, it's a great set of darts. Again, 22, 24, 26 grams. The grip, you can either grip in the front, middle, rear, doesn't really matter. So it's gonna work well for most players. However, I don't think most players are going to prefer or gravitate towards a torpedo shaped barrel. But if you do, it's a great set of darts, pro player darts, 95% tungsten. So there's a lot of, um, lots of, lot of positives there. The price right around 60 US dollars. So not too bad, right? Especially for a pro player, 95% tungsten set of darts. I guess I will go with a level, or not a level, but a rating of 8.6 out of 10. I think that's fair. Let me know what you think about that rating. So um, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, hope you like my new jersey as well. So until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Later. Why you think they call me Mr.